Here we're looking out the front of the rover, and you can see our first tracks on Mars, and this was just so amazing to see last night. And uh, uh, we're really happy about this. Annie East is going to what you're seeing in this simulation is it's actually a representation of the telemetry we got back of what the arm did on Mars, of all the different motions of the arm. We call this the, the no-load checkout. It unstows and places the whole arm in a vertical orientation, and then it does a test wiggle of, of each joint, and then it restows. Uh, so here you're seeing the actual images from the rover that we got back of this activity, which was super cool. I should mention uh, the, the turret has two of our very important science instruments, Sherlock and Pixel, and it also has an engineering camera, uh, Watson. So, yeah. um, We commanded each of those four wheels through a 30 degree range of motion while monitoring motor performance and suspension angles. And it went really well, in certain cases better than we expected. We saw some performance that in some cases was better than we've seen on Earth driving in the Mars yard. And you'll see what our first drive actually did yesterday. So uh, our plan, which executed perfectly, uh, was to first drive four meters forward, that's about 13 feet, uh, make a 150 degree turn to the left uh, counterclockwise, and then back up about two and a half meters, about eight feet. And then during that drive, we took a pause to image the touchdown contact patch on the tires. So where the tires, you can see the wheel tracks that we left on Mars. I don't think I've ever been happier to see wheel tracks and I've seen a lot of them. Um, and this image is from the MassCam B camera located on the rover's mast. It shows a flat, light-toned rock on the right side of the image on which we targeted the very first observation from SuperCam, one of the rover's instruments for analyzing the composition of rocks at the surface. Results from this, and what we can see in this image uh, from the first high-resolution panorama from MassCam B are distant deposits of the Jezero Delta in the background. The rocks in the foreground may be similar to those in and around the rover's landing site, but I'd like to call attention to the rocks in the, in the mound in the background of our high-rise camera showing possible traverse paths that the science team is considering for exploring Jezero. From the landing site, which is the white dot there, we're considering two options to get to the delta, a clockwise path and a counterclockwise traverse that you can see here in blue and purple. Um, we're, we're working with engineers now to